WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We've got a pretty calm market out there, but indices in positive territory right now. You get the S&Ps positive by two points, trading at 29.98. NASDAQ positive by three points, trading at 8,108. Dow Jones positive by eight points, trading at 26,796. Big week of earnings. We got some earnings last night. Got them this morning. We get a big one tonight. Microsoft after the bell with their earnings. We'll jump over to some of the, char the charts making moves so far today. We'll start things off with the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. Currently trading 26,750. And as you can see, since about 9 a.m. this morning, we're right back to where we were, 9 a.m., 26,750. You did trade up about 100 points higher at about 11.15 a.m. this morning, reaching a high of 26,849. Boeing actually coming out with their earnings last night. While we're on the Dow, I'm going to jump over to Boeing real quick because Boeing, always a big number as to the amount of points it puts in the Dow. Price weighted index, and you can see the market was higher. Highs in the Dow right around 11.15. Also early this morning, Boeing was up 10. Excuse me, 10 points higher than it's at right now. We were 350 at one point. Boeing with their earnings now sitting at 340.31. Jumping back to the indices, to the NASDAQ 100, currently trading 78.79. You'll see that NASDAQ 100 move after the closing bell with Microsoft earnings. S&P trading at 29.96. We were above 3,000 briefly just prior to noon Eastern time. Gold contract was inching towards 1500, almost made it there, 1499, now at 1494. Crude oil, quite a day for crude, $55.85 for the price of crude. We got EIA inventories at 1030 this morning. Surprise draw in that crude market as crude climbs to $55.84, now more than $2 above where it was trading at just at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Some of the news there as well, as you have President Trump saying the Turkish ceasefire in Syria is quote-unquote permanent. That may be his word, but that he's going to lift sanctions, whether that's somehow tying into there. And the Euro-U.S. dollar won 11.23. Stay tuned, folks. we got our man Dave White coming up live right now with the Power Trading Hour and Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. Two hours left to go in the trading day. Markets barely in positive territory. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now.